A tradition that has become a passion of Jason. It's uh, it's a great thing to do in the winter time and come early spring. Here you go. You got a whole uh, year's worth of ration. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's absolutely ridiculous to sit in front of this I know. pile of meat. You caught us on our mid-afternoon break. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see you there. <laughs> this is the end of a few couple of months of hard work. Three things go into this. One, good meat. Two, the ratio of salt, very important. And three, the curing conditions. It takes some time to make these beauties. It does. Nothing happens quickly if it's good. Behind the scenes. Oh! Ha ha! Non è come così in America. No. No. Okay, so that was Gaji, the doctor. He called to check on us. He knows we're here at the butcher getting all the meat. Wanted to make sure we were getting everything. 50 kilos of meat and the budelli, the uh, the casings. One more time to go over it, because, you know, this is, this is only year 10. <laughs> Beautiful meat straight from the butcher. It's not a very unusual order at this <laughs> no. time of year to walk in and ask for 50 kilos of pork shoulder. They have the pork shoulder there, they have the uh, bugelli or the casings, and all you need to do is get the salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. Every year, there's the same argument about salt. Ah, uh, yes. The the salt debate. Okay. 47. No, Dottore, c'è 48 kg di carne. 4 per 12. 4 mucche di 4 kg, c'era 12 mucche. Oh, però, l'altro è il conto. Eh. Dottore, 40... è pesato giusto. Ho capito, Gervo, se quello te la dà 50 kg. Nardo... No, non è importante all'inizio. C'è. 48 kg ah, di ciccia Speriamo che hai pesato bene Che eh, eh, già, è quello il problema 48 Vuoi, vuoi fare un altro? No! Eh. Un chilo tre 48 per... Un chilo e tre Un chilo e tre <laughs> Now I don't understand why there is a salt debate because it is a mathematical equation. You have X kilos of meat, X percentage of salt per kilo. What's there to argue about? So that took forever, but we were five meters short on the budelli, on the casings. Now we go home and fill the rest. What time is it? Hold on. It's not that late. It's only six something, but I'm tired. I'm sick of doing sausage. All right. We're here in our curing room, which is really not a curing room at all. It's just one of the apartments for the guests. This apartment has two windows, one facing the south side of the house and the other facing the northwest side of the house. 
Why that's important is we get a great airflow through this room to properly dry the sausages and salamis during the winter. It's a little bit of luck, it's a little bit of know-how, and this year we were good and lucky. Um, they came out great. The sausages, as you can see, Ashley's... They're good really them. good. <laughs> um, the sausages took about five weeks, five and a half weeks this year. The salamis are still going at nine and a half, so I would call them ten. What I do every few days is come through for the sausages and rotate how they are on the hooks. It's an imperfect science and I get it better and better every year. But what we're trying to do is keep the sausages and salamis that are closest to the windows, thus getting the most air, we need to keep those moving around the room. This is to ensure a, that they dry and cure evenly. Here's one of the salamis at about four weeks. You can see that mold is starting to appear on the outside, perfectly normal. If it gets any worse, I'll come by with a paper towel or towel and just simply wipe it away. Mold is an intricate part of this curing process. It goes great. Uh, with this, uh, this is a pecorino made from um, raw sheep's milk cheese, unpasteurized, unhomogenized, delicious. Delicious. And this one, <laughs> also, this one mm, here is called Lonzino. that right there. This is called Lonzino, and this is, the, uh, this is the loin of the pig put under salt and cured a uh, similar way to prosciutto is. Well, there you go. I like mine with a little bit of cheese as well. I like mine with a little vino as well. <laughs> so it's back to work for us. Season's underway soon. Back to work. Back to work. A few more sausages first. I'm in, I'm in work clothes. I think that's all they see you in. <laughs> it's work time. Carhartt model. Yeah? Good, good, good.